All right, so welcome back to another episode, and today we are going to open this and do a little unboxing. And actually, it's kind of funny, because this is a brand new Shimano reel that I have never owned or never used. And, bef and a little bit of a backstory on this is I wanted to do another reel unboxing and kind of review test video, and I picked this reel and ordered it, and I didn't get it right away, okay? So... Then it said it would be two to three weeks. Well, then I posted in the community tab, because that's what I do now, is the community tab in these videos. I posted that I was going to be doing another Shimano Reel video, and a lot of you guys said that, oh, I should do the Shimano SLX MGL, because I do use the regular SLX, and I've used reels of any and all price points from this company, because this is the only real company I use, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the SLX MGL is the reel that I ordered. No, it was not by coincidence, or excuse me, yes, it was by coincidence. It wasn't planned that way. I ordered it, and a lot of you guys were like, hey, you should get it, and basically what I'm trying to tell you is, is the reel that you want to see is the one that I got, and it's completely by coincidence. So yeah, anyway, and the one that I ordered is the SLX MGL High Gear, and that is the one that they sent me. Uh, a regular reel, like a regular speed reel is a six, a high gear is a seven. I do believe this has what, 29 or 30 inches per turn. It does have uh, a five bearing system. It's only supposed to weigh, I think seven ounces. You're going to have some features like, uh, MGL, Hagani. It's going to have, it's going to be an SLX with, uh, SVS infinity braking. So we'll go ahead and get this box out of here and there is nothing to it, but to do it. So open this up cut it and by the way i will be testing this reel and i actually did pick it up for texas rigs and bottom baits and i know a lot of you guys are probably saying well what do you mean it's a 70 size reel that's a small reel sure it's going to be great for small baits uh really light baits on a bait caster but don't be fooled this is also going to be really good for heavier baits flipping and pitching and bottom baits so enough of the talking here we go i haven't done one of these in a while so I'm hoping this is going to get some views, man. This is what my channel is. It's fishing, fishing tackle, and Shimano reels. And of course, you do have the Bantam oil. There you go. I actually did a video about the Bantam oil and a whole bunch of different things with Shimano's high-end reels, low-end. Check them out if you get a chance. But there we go. For $150... I'm expecting a lot. And did I get what I expected? Tighten that up. Did I get what I expected? Hold on. There we go. Okay, this is very smooth. And the only thing that I can say about this is you see you know remember how i told you about the 70 size spool it is shallow okay which is why it's good for light line but th this should work for texas rigs and jigs oh yeah plus it's gonna have with the svs infinity you're gonna have the uh, the outside adjustment dial open it up and it is an escape hatch yep it's not a removable side plate it's two on two off that is a good starting point man it's been a while since i've done one of these videos there we go uh, if that didn't work, that would mean that I needed to loosen it. I'm going to be fishing with this next year for sure. Look at this thing. Let's get a few shots of this. So yeah, after taking a good look at it, I did kind of have, you know, have the feeling and think because it is a 70 size spool that it was going to be a small spool, but it is, but it's actually wider than I thought. The spool on the Casitas is narrow, nar more narrow than this one, excuse me. This one's not as deep, but I think it'll still be good for moving baits. And by the way, if you are curious, if you have missed it in other Shimano videos on my channel, uh, a 71 is a left hand or a 151 is a left hand, uh, 70 or a 150, that is a right hand. Um, and then, like I said, these are all in vi other videos and stuff, but if you want to know about how to how to oil it, how to oil the brakes. Here, let me open this. Jeez, oh, Pete. 
you gotta make sure the spool tension's loose enough. Sometimes I still forget. Like I like I said before, you put one drop in there, one drop on the outside. I do follow the manual and I use it every, or I do apply that every five uses. So yeah, man, look at that. It's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a good reel. I'm excited to use it. I'll be honest, it's really smooth. It, it doesn't make a lot of noise. It, see what I mean? I would go test it right now, but we just got a bunch of a bunch of snow and it's really cold. So well, not really cold, but it's getting there. And you know, I figured, well, why not do an unboxing and then do a test with it? And you know, that's another thing too. I'm gonna be next year. Like I'm still gonna use the Corrados and some of the high end stuff. But I think I'm going to use an SLX regular, like I did at the end of this year in 2019, uh, an SLX XT and this MGL, and then I'll, you know, I'll keep the normal low, mid, low grade, mid grade, and high end setups that I always use. Good stuff, man. Um, let's actually, you know what? It's funny here. Let's set this here. Give me one second. What we're going to do is just to compare. Where is that? Where is that real? There it is in this hand. So that is a Casitas. That is the 150 size. You'll see it's bigger. But this one, actually, yep, this SLX MGL appears to be a little bit wider than the Casitas spool. I could take them out and put them side by side. but And then, of course, this one is not as deep. This one is deeper. But there you go. And then another thing, too, like a 150, you're going to notice that a 150 size is a lot bigger. And the whole point of me bringing this up is... I had people in the comments ask about this Casitas saying that this size spool is actually, it's too small to cast baits really far. That is not true. That is why I think the 70 size, size, excuse me, on this X, SLX MGL is going to be all right. So you guys got to do me a favor. If any of you guys have used this SLX MGL, if you like it, let me know. I know that this smaller spool is amazing for light line and smaller baits. But it's also going to be good for flipping and pitching. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I haven't done one of these in forever. I figured, why not, man? Uh, I picked this up. That's another thing, too. I did pick this up online for $150 off of Tackle Warehouse. Um, I do have this and uh, some other Tackle videos coming this winter. This is just uh, another Shimano that I'm going to be adding to the lineup. Oh, yeah. It looks so good. Take a look at it again. You know, that's another thing, too, is I've noticed that I get asked in the comments a lot lately, which I do love, by the way, is I get asked, hey, AR, or hey, AR casting, what rod or reel should I use for a crankbait, a chatterbait, or, or what spinning reel do you recommend? What bait caster do you like? Uh, what do you use this for? This this is just a few of the reels, but that's beside the point. The, the point is, is if you ever have any questions about gear or... Or things or baits you see me fish with or reels or rods. Do me a favor and ask me in the comments. Let me know. Because I've actually had a lot of people that I will suggest the baits or the tackle that I fish with. You know. And I'll tell them that it's personal preference. And they'll say, well, what do you mean? And, well, and I'll say, you got you to gotta fit what matches you know your style, what you like. Like I always tell people, I'll give you tips. You know, I, I can tell you what I like, but... Ultimately, the decision is yours, and you got to do what you like. You know what I mean? And I tell them to let me know. Well, usually two, three, four days, or maybe even sometimes a couple weeks will go by. And then I'll get a comment from the same person or group of people. Oh my gosh, I took your word for it, and I tried this, and I can't believe it, and thank you so much. So the point is, if you have any questions about the SLX MGL after a while, or any of the rods or reels you see on my channel, let me know, man. I respond to all of the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know about the reel, and I will see you guys next time.